everyone crystal here and i know i said i wasn't going to do a soap for a couple days but i couldn't help it i wanted to do this soap and it's going to be a simple soap it's a christmas soap but the soap we're doing is called frankincense and myrrh and oh my gosh i absolutely love the smell of this soap it just smells so good um i forgot that i had it actually and i had just enough to do this soap but it smells so good, guys. If you guys have ever smelled frankincense and myrrh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Alright, in with our lye. And then we'll put our uh, buttermilk in in just a second. Tip it upside down, right side up. Let it drip. Get all the... It's just going to be a simple soap. It's going to be uh, white with a brown drop swirl. And I want it to be a dark brown because this uh, this fragrance has got like 10% vanilla in it. And I'm just going to help it along by putting uh, brown, mixing brown with a little bit of black to make it a dark brown. Oops. I always forget to burp it. I should have put my additives in first, but I forgot to, so. Almost mixed. That looks good and emulsified. And I'm only putting fragrance in the browns. bit of bronze brown with a little bit of cocoa powder and a little bit of black now I'm only putting just a little bit of black in because I don't want it to turn black I just want it to be a dark dark brown okay so we'll do that one in a second let's get our white mixed up first wider than that, but I'm going to knock down my sides here. fragrance in and it's anchored in tapioca starch like always gosh it smells good it smells so good I love the, the smell of frankincense and myrrh right. yes look at that dark chocolate brown So pretty. 
That is what I wanted. I wanted that dark, luscious brown. That's gorgeous. All right. Let's take blender off there. Oh, look how pretty that brown is. It's nice, dark chocolatey. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous brown. And mm, the smell, oh, it just smells so good. All right, so we're going to be doing white with a brown drop swirl. And I want to put this in here just because I can drop swirl it better. I know all of it ain't going to fit, but we'll fit some of it. Alright, let me get my mold. And I need to put my little thing in my jiggers on there. I got some hot processed soap on some of them. So one there. I got some little ones. I don't know if they'll go on there. Nope, it won't fit on there. So we'll get these. We'll just get the hot processed soap off of them. Oh, I moved ya. Did I move you too much? Nah. I didn't move you too much. Some, some on this side. And one more. Ooh, that one's got a lot of hot process soap on it. One on this side. If I can, there we go. Alright, so. Stir our white a little bit. And let's put some down. About a third of it. Ooh. And then we're going to start dropping it. I'm going to go for my pie. Just a strip. And then start from down here. And I'm gonna put the rest. This dark chocolate brown is so pretty. off now this is going to be so pretty
all right so now we're going to leave the rest for the top so we're going to do just a pretty swirl for the top go ahead and pound it down and then not yet um putting the top on now Everything's nice and fluid. And then we're going to swirl it with the little uh, thingamajigger, whatever you want to call it, the little swirly tool, the skewer. There we go. And I don't want to mess with the swirl on the inside. It's the drop swirl. It's going to be pretty. And then the last of this. making a mess is what I'm doing. Alright guys, let me get my skewer. And I'm going to try to barely go down. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Beautiful. Love brown and white together. So pretty. And I can't wait to see what that swirl on the inside looks like. And it smells delicious. I love frankincense and myrrh, especially around Christmas time. Beautiful. All right, now let's get the sides. Don't want to mess up my swirl there. My this one, my thing broke. The outside to my um thing in my jigger, the mold broke and. If you put too much in it, then it goes over the side. But I think that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Play a little swirl. Right there. Alright guys, so this was my frankincense and myrrh. It was my next Christmas soap. I think I got one more Christmas soap I want to do. And then... Um, that's all I'm going to do for Christmas. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is called Jingle Bells. But I'm not real sure what, how I'm going to do it. So, alright guys. So we're going to put this to bed and then we'll give her a cut tomorrow. So stay tuned for the cut. Everyone, we're back and we're back to cut our frankincense and myrrh. And here's what it looks like. And oh my gosh, does this soap smell good. Oh, coffee. I just can't stop smelling the soap. 
It just smells that good. It smells so good. I used the very last of it. I forgot that I had it. And I used up the very last. I have maybe an ounce left. So I can make maybe two eight ounce candles with that. Alright, let's go ahead and get it in peace. And this was a brown drop swirl. So let's see what kind of swirls we got. Oh, those are pretty. Um, will you give me a paper towel, please, so I can wipe my, um, my thingamajigger with wire, that's what you call it. Cutting I couldn't board? think. No, it's called a, it's called a cutting, board. cutter, not a cutting board. But I'm talking about my wire. So the same thing. Okay, so there's one side. There's the other. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Oh my gosh, if you guys could smell this right now, I absolutely love this scent. And I never thought about putting it in a soap. It smells really, really good. Reminds me of Christmas. And I'm so excited. I finally got my true red today. I did a soap earlier today, and it was apple cinnamon. And I got my true red, guys. I finally got it. I couldn't believe it. I was so tickled to death and so happy. It's just a mica. Still, it's, well, no, it's mixed micas. I had to mix them together to get it. But still, I was so excited. If you soapers out there know how exciting it is to get a real red. Because every time you try to get a true red, it always turns out pink. Always. No matter what you do, it turns out pink. And this time, I got a true red. I was so happy. So, so happy. And I, I only got my true orange once. And if you guys know me and you watch my videos, you know that orange mica is my nemesis. I can never get it right. I got it right one time and I tried to repeat what I did and it didn't work. Man, these are some pretty drop swirls. And my bar is nice and hard. And it's not tacky or anything. I'm smoothing out the edges there. How can a soap be tacky? Um, soap can feel tacky sometimes. Ooh, that's pretty. That went all the way to the bottom. I like that. And um, my bronze brown is more of more of a bronze brown actually. And I mixed some activated charcoal to make it darker. And I really like how it turned out. So these drop swirls are really pretty. And you guys, you have to smell this soap. Frankincense and myrrh just reminds me so much of Christmas time. It smells so good. I absolutely love this scent. Um, I sold out of it last year at Christmas time with my candles. And I never thought to make a soap out of it. And I had just a little bit left. Just enough for this soap. Plus maybe, like I said before, maybe two 8 ounce candles. So, I like it. I'm glad I didn't mess with the swirl at all. I thought about it. I thought about swirling it with the dowel, but I thought, no, just leave the drop swirl alone. I'm sure they're going to look beautiful once I cut it. Maybe. And have you guys even been able to see this? Have I been like too low? Okay, last cut in the end piece. Hey, I've been down the way down here. I'm sorry. Should be up here. Gosh. And that's the back. In our end cut. Oh, I had to smell it again. It just smells that good. Alright, guys. So this was the making and cutting of my frankincense and myrrh. It was uh, one, of, one of my Christmas soaps. Uh, if you like this video and want to see future videos, then please do subscribe. And hit the like button. And of course, comment. You guys know I love it when you comment. It makes my day. Uh, my brand new stick blender that I just got broke on me, guys. It's the second, second or third time I used it. 
and it broke and the first time I used it it made like a hundred fifty million bubbles so that right there should have told me that something was wrong with it so I called Amazon and they're gonna send me a replacement free of charge plus I have that um, three-year kitchen warranty but it's still under warranty with them because I just got it like last week uh, so thank goodness I had my trusty old little my cheap stick blender here works just like a charm Alright guys, so till the next video, bye bye.